Hi everyone, Project Pig here and welcome to the first in a series where I'll meet people from industry and discuss their thoughts and experiences around various topics and areas of interest relative to our people, the planet and of course projects. In support of International Women's Day, celebrated during the month of March, today I'm pleased to introduce Sarah Alderson, advocate and leader on the subject of women in industry, or more specifically, project management. Sarah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Look, Sarah, thanks for giving us your time today. I'm sure you've got many other things you could be doing mm -hmm. on a Friday afternoon. Um, so maybe to start us off, how about tell us, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, maybe which university you attended, which subject you studied, and maybe there's anything else that's of interest. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's great to be here and thanks very much for having, having me along. Um, I graduated uh, almost two years ago now, so in June 2020 from the University of St Andrews, where I studied international relations. So bit of politics, bit of foreign policy, that kind of thing. And I started sort of my full time uh, career. So I'm on a project management graduate scheme with the Alcon International Group in September 2020. And um, so about 18 months in now. Um, I'm originally from Edinburgh and moved down to England in sort of the Bristol area um, in October, November of, of 2020. So yeah, being here a little bit and yeah, finally being sort of find, find my feet. Fantastic. So you studied international relations. So what attracted you to project management? So with obviously I sort of graduated during during COVID, like mid lockdown, um, and was really unsure with what my plans were just because obviously with COVID, a lot of companies were stopping graduate schemes, the employment market wasn't looking great. And it, it really encouraged me to think about what I really wanted to do with my career and maybe explore other options I hadn't previously thought about. And that's when I came across project management by sort of just looking at what sort of things were out there that would give me a variety of options and sort of give me the skills that I could I could use throughout my career. And that's what attracted me project management was the most, the fact that I can use it almost anywhere. You can do project management in so many different industries. And I really love working with people sort of throughout sort of my life, sort of when I sort of got my first job, I've always worked with people and I really like that aspect of getting to know people and working with them and seeing how they work and how they operate and that's such a key part of project management is that stakeholder engagement piece so it sort of seemed to fit together and um, gives me the skills that I wanted to develop and be able to sort of take project management where I want to take it but also sort of taking some of my passions and things I actually really enjoy doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And of course, one one of the beauties with project management is it's almost regardless of what you studied, isn't it? Yeah. If you want to be a mechanical engineer, you need to really study mechanical engineering. But project management is such a broad portfolio of things. We can we can bring people in from many different areas, which is great for diversity, including women in project management. And there's no better yeah. industry to be in, of course. But I am a little bit biased on that. <laughs> <laughs> so thinking of that, then, how did you first get involved with women in project management specifically? So. With the project management graduate scheme that I'm on, um, we sort of were introduced to the Association of Project Management, the APM, as the sort of professional body for which we should sort of align with. So that's sort of the competencies and also opened up the opportunities to attend the events and webinars they hold. And because I am relatively new to project management, like I said, my degree wasn't, wasn't in project management and I had no prior experience coming onto the graduate scheme in the job I'm in now, I really took the opportunity of sort of working from home and sort of the opportunities that I was given through the grad scheme to attend those webinars and events and learn more about project management from other project professionals that weren't in my in my workplace or in my specific industry, which is engineering. And I came across the opportunity to join the Women in Project Management Committee. So it's a special interest group within the APM. They have a variety of committees such as governance, but also sort of branches like the Southwest or, or Scotland and London. And I thought it was a really good opportunity to meet other women in project management um, and understand their career paths, gain a bit of knowledge from them, sort of really, really read the benefits of their experience and also just learn more about project management. So I applied and um, had to submit a couple of answers and um, a couple of paragraphs of what I wanted to join, what I was going to get out of it. And it got sort of voted on and this was about September of last year. And then you found out successful in about the October, November time. And yeah, I've been on the committee ever since and really enjoying it. I think it's fantastic that you've you've reached out and got involved at such an early stage in your career as well. Um, I understand you're actually involved in was it a webinar or something with the APM, so Association for Project Management, recently? Um, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it, 
as part of the sort of um, committee, what we do is we try and do a lot of outreach and whether that's supporting other webinars that are going on with the APM or sort of creating our own. And one of the other committee members, Caroline, she has links with the University of Nottingham. So was able to have a webinar with them and um, to the Women in Engineering Society. So she asked myself, since I work in engineering and a couple of other women who she knows out with the committee to come and speak to the students and share the value of project management to engineering as an industry, but also have that sort of interaction with women in the industry to say what it's like. So obviously engineering is such a male dominated industry that we really wanted to get across what it was actually like to be there and also to open up to some of the engineers, although it's a mixture of women and students on the call, the benefits of project management for engineering. And we also just spoke really sort of openly and honestly about our experiences, what we'd found challenging, what were our highlights and sort of our tips and things for applying. So obviously a lot of students are, are in a very similar stage to where I was two years ago about trying to figure out what they want to do with their careers and all you don't always want to follow the path that your career your degree has taken you. So trying to give a bit of inspiration, uh, let them have a little bit of an insight into what project management is, because I think it's still a little bit of a misunderstood discipline and career path. And also, yeah, just be a bit of an inspiration to other women out there that you can sort of work in these you know, in the industries and it's not I mean, not as big and bad as scary as some people might think. Yeah. The, the way you're talking, Sarah, it's really, everything you're talking about is really the selfless nature of what you're doing. It's all about you giving to others. Uh, but what about the experience that you take from it as, a, as an individual? Because you're in a graduate scheme yourself and, and you're going through that development journey towards chartership. So what do you yeah. take it from yourself in this? I think it's for taking the knowledge and experience from other, other people. So sitting on the committee specifically, working with other women who have got such valuable experiences and learning from them and learning how to deal and navigate difficult situations. So there has been a couple of cases in the past couple of weeks where I was saying, I'm really struggling with this APM competency. We really don't have to deal with it. And I've been able to go to them and say, what would you do? Um, how would you deal with it? How have you managed it in the past? But also going and sharing my experience with other people and other students, like in the webinar that I, I just spoke about, it is really rewarding because you sort of feel like you are making a difference and it also really builds my confidence i think with covid there was sort of a big gap in from the may june when i graduated to the september where i joined joined the role i'm in now where you weren't sort of doing any professional events it's my first professional career really my first proper professional job so being able to go and do these events and webinars and speak to people it really boosts my own confidence uh, improves my speaking ability I think and also just sort of gets me out there meeting new people I think that's so difficult sometimes when you've been sat at home for six months in lockdown sort of not really getting that interaction being able to go and speak to people and sort of force yourself into these maybe what might be uncomfortable situations where you have to speak and you have to be put on the spot with questions and come across as confident and um, it's something I've really taken away from it. Yeah I think Covid certainly changed the experience especially coming into industry fresh as a graduate you know, it's all it's all new. Um, but again, we've talked a little bit about your background, how you got into women in project management, the webinars and things you've been involved in. But what's what's next for your women in project management work? So obviously with International Women's Day coming up next next week, we've got loads of exciting events on um, throughout the week in association with the APM um, and all those can be found on the APM's website. But also we've got a LinkedIn page um, where we've got those events post International Women's Day. We're still planning, we're still trying to understand where we see our benefit lying, because what we really want to understand as a committee is what benefit we can add to the profession, what can we look at that's gonna gonna help other people. And one of we've been split into three sort of subgroups and where we've all got our, like, our own agendas within the group. And one of the subgroups is about mental health and well-being. Obviously, with COVID, it's such an important topic at the moment. And they're looking at putting together a toolkit on mental health and well-being sort of a bit of a, you know, these are the tools and techniques you can use as a project manager, you know, it can maybe not always be the, the most easiest job when you're dealing with lots of people and potentially in really high stress situations, coupled with maybe some of the specific problems that women face, such as being a mother or, you know, maternity leave and things like that. And they're trying to kind of combine those two and provide a bit of guidance on experience from people in the committee, but also things we've learned through our careers and to help other women. So that's something we're working on at the moment. But we're also really, really happy to take on if, um, sort of suggestions. If people think, oh, I think this would be really valuable for you to talk about or do a webinar on, then, you know, we really would like to hear what people would like to see and what they want to discuss. And um, so people do have suggestions and would like us to look at something in particular, whether that be research 
or anything, then then do let us know. Um, we're also really, really keen to talk to people and go out and spread the word about women in project management, like gender um, issues of project management, gender diversity, gender equality. And one thing we are pushing at the moment is going into universities and schools and just talking about project management in general, trying to encourage people to view it as a career path, no matter your discipline, but also saying to women and uh, female students, saying that it's one of the really, really good career paths to go into because, like you said, it's not there that it's it's really valuable for not having that sort of gender barrier. I don't think you can work in any industry and sort of, you know, almost stir up the status quo a bit. So yeah, that's sort of our work for the next couple of months and um, lots of challenges to face. Sounds sounds really busy, but really interesting as well. And um, you just mentioned about schools there and that kind of takes us on to the next question, but I think you've almost started answering it anyway, but, but we'll ask it anyway. So what would I think this was probably your first experience in industry. I think that's correct, yeah. And um, what would you say about working in industry then to the next generation of female students who are considering their career moves right now? It's a really, really good question. And I, I wish we had had someone help me at that stage of my uh, sort of life when I when I was looking applying to jobs and having someone sort of give me give me similar advice. But I think one of the main things would be is step outside your comfort zone and find ways that you can do that. I know it sounds probably pretty cliche, but I would never ever have got a job in engineering or industry. I've got no technical background. I'm not particularly technically minded. Obviously with a politics degree, they're sort of quite opposite. And I think just taking that sort of bit of leap of faith in yourself and thinking, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I can do it and sort of you're, I think you're your biggest cheerleader and you're the one person who's gonna give you the most confidence and back you up so you need to really push that and say I can do it I'm going to do it I love my job I love working in the industry I work in I think it's great and I'm really glad I'm here because I would never have saw myself here a couple of years ago so I'm taking a leap of faith in yourself and um, even if the industry you want to work in maybe doesn't look great I mean I know sort of and you don't say we've been talking a little bit about the fact that engineering is so male dominated that can put off a lot of people there's sort of you know the culture is associated with that but I think that's an opportunity for then young young students to go and say well I'm going to change it you can go in and you can say when you're on grad schemes and things like oh well that's not how things should be done and challenging sort of the norms that have been established so there's a lot of scope for you to go into engineering or industry and and change things and make, make a real difference because the engineering industry is changing it is becoming a lot more open to change and the fact that it is male dominated and we should be sort of trying to change that status quo and um, so i'd say you know back yourself um and and don't be afraid to sort of to speak up and and be confident in, in your ability and what what you want to achieve I can see by the way you're talking, you're so passionate about it as well. And um, look, it's a great, it's a great thing that you're involved in. You do look so much fantastic work. That that's obvious by the way you're talking and the things you're explaining to us right now. Um, what do you? This is this is think about you personally. What do you personally see as the main benefits of promoting women in project management in the way that you do? So I, this is the probably the main the main reason why I actually wanted to join the committee in the first place um, back in September last year, and I think it is about trying to make project management that leading career path. And I know I alluded to this a little bit in previous answers, but it's really about trying to say, as project managers, we can go into any industry and challenge the status quo and say like. People, I, it's amazing. People I work with on the committee were project managers from construction, uh, agriculture, IT, legal, like professions that you wouldn't typically maybe think of. Um, as a woman, I especially wouldn't think about going into agriculture or construction. It's my immediate sort of, oh, I'll go and do a job there. But as project managers, it gives you that pathway in and that career. And that's the most valuable thing for me personally is being able to open up those doors and show people that we. We're, we're, we're real we work in these industries and we've managed and yeah these are the struggles we face but look at all the great things we've managed to achieve and all the great things we can do and um, so for me that's like my biggest thing is i'm i'm really passionate about trying to achieve gender equality and trying to disrupt the balances of of genders in in industries and sectors and i think that that's where women in project management can make such a difference is widening up people's perspectives on what project management can do so that's even within the APM itself is talking to other APM members and saying 
look at what you can do look at what you can do within your own industry man female whatever you can go and t- t- have these conversations because that's what project management allows you to do and it gives you the skills and the experience to go in and do that and that's what i personally want to do as well as i've been working engineering you know i'm here because i i think it's valuable to have a diverse workforce and i think project management is a perfect channel to do that so yeah that's why i joined the committee in the first place and that's when i really want to achieve on my time in the committee is making a headway towards towards that you're talking about gender balance and equality very much there, which is brilliant um, and really important. So what's your aspirations for the work that you're doing in women in project management? In other words, what, what do you hope that it might develop into? Yeah, I think I think our aspirations as a committee would be, would be to inspire others. Our remit is really, really wide. And although I've spoken a lot about women, I think it's just generally inspiring people and making people aware of the issues that potentially women do face but that's obviously not our only only remit and our only scope and it's just it's inspiring everybody in the project management profession to put gender at the heart of what they do and um, you can include you know quality and inclusion and diversity in you know project management from you know start of a life cycle all the way through to the end and i think trying to just ingrain that in everybody's project management mindset project management when they go to work or anybody in the project profession think just being able to sort of establish that immediate thought and consideration for diversity and inclusion um, and equality in projects would be would be amazing and I think that's really where I hope that the work we do develops into is providing that sort of baseline um, for projects to start from and project professionals to begin their project from um, and like I said, inspiring everyone in the project profession um, to make gender equality the heart of, of what they do and make sure it's included in the projects and uh, organisations they work for. So before we before we close out, any final words to aspiring women in project management out there? Um, yeah, I would probably say like you're not alone. I know that sounds a bit, a bit odd because I think sometimes you can, as women in industry, you can feel quite alone sometimes. You can think, oh, I'm surrounded by everyone else and you might be about other women but they're not women in, in project management and I think yeah you're not alone there's so many of us and um, you know the APM is a great a great channel to explore explore that and um, you know networking is so key and um, and I really encourage people to engage with forums and committees like women in project management with APM because they're such good channels for, for knowledge and experience and people I've met have been so so instrumental in my confidence building over the last couple of months that I think they're great channels and forums to utilize and I really really urge other people to do so and yeah you're not alone and I really say if anyone is struggling with their career and um, whether that be sort of starting out as a, as a student or um, at the end of university or even sort of you know career changers then reach out we're always so happy to help and and speak and just yeah be there for one another because that's what we are and um, we want to be a support network as well and, and increase that um, relationship between one another. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me and the viewers today. You talk a lot about inspiring others, but you are truly inspirational, not only to women, but to the guys out there as well. The passion you have for what you believe in is a, it's a model and inspiration for us all to go on and, and achieve our own passions. Thanks to all you all out there as well for watching today. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, or maybe even share with others. Please also visit the parent site, projectpointhub.com, for more great content and resources for you to enjoy and use And as we focus on our people, the planet, and projects. Until the next time, I give you Sarah and Alderson. Thank you.